stages of life. There's my theme. I got to thinking about stages of our lives. And like when we're born, we don't really know much what's going on. We cry a lot. We cry when we're hungry. We cry, we, we're bored. We just cry. I don't know much more than life. Some people would say, oh, look at my baby smile. Well, a smile be, maybe because we did a good burp. Good burp makes you smile. I don't know. But then we get a little bit more aware of who we are. You know, we're at school. And, and for me, maybe that life that I was, you know, I was in, elementary school and all that stuff. Maybe my my stage of life, I wanted to have fun. We say, what's your favorite subject? We'd always say PE. The only thing I worried about is when we lined up to have teams, who's going to play on what team and you get to pick. I was like, I hope I'm not last. I hope I'm not last. And many times I was last. So anyway, it's kind of a me type time. But then we get a little older and we become aware, you know, there's another thing you can have fun over. Uh, there's and, and all of a sudden we become aware of girls. Now I always have had girls in my life. I have three older sisters, but this is different. I think maybe I was sixth grade or all of a sudden maybe I don't know. I was going, whoa, there are girls. And and one of the reasons I started finding jobs is because I wanted date money, <laughs> gas money, and so to take girls out. And junior high, high school, the only part just. I don't want it just to get graduate, but I want to have fun with girls, you know. And then you get out of high school and you may go to college or or you're starting to wonder, what do I want to do in life? My stage, where do I want to go in life? And some start thinking about this even in high school. And so we may go to college. Maybe what you want to do or your focus might take going to college. So we're preparing for what we want to do. That's the next stage of life. And then we find that, and maybe we graduate from college, we may not get another degree or whatever, and we start our vocation, and we're excited about it, and we want to be good at our vocation. In fact, maybe we want to uh, get more paid in our vocation, get more fame in our vocation. I don't know, whatever it is, you, you want to do better and better and better. And, and, and then actually during this stage, sometimes you are more responsible, not just for yourself, but maybe you have a family, you know, and you, you got to bring in the bread, bring in the money, you know, because you got to support your family. And there's another stage. And then we get to uh, another stage where maybe this is the stage I'm in. And, and fame is really not the big issue anymore. And being the best isn't really the issue anymore. In fact, more and more in my stage, it's less about me. And But how do, what, how do I function today, Lord? How do you want me to be or what do you want me to be in this whacked out world? I want to end well. I want to run the race well, where Jesus says, good, done, good job, faithful servant. Way to go, John. How do we run the race well? When everything seems to be caving in on us. And the older we get, the more loss of loved ones we're seeing. How do we run the race well? Well, for me right now, it's I'm saying, Lord, show me how to run the race. Or in my case, show me how to walk. How can I walk and wave well for you in the last stage of my life? Because I want to end the race well for you. What stage are you in? How are you walking today?